Hey, what's up guys? I'm on Arts here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a few cool things with the pen tool in Photoshop, and just pretty much how to use it. And it's really useful, it's one of the primary things I use in, like, Photoshop-only speed arts. So, some things that I might show you, or that I am going to show you how to do, is pretty much how to outline the sky and get rid of the background, how to add some cool glowing lines around his body, and just pretty much how to create a shape and fill it in using the pen tool. So it's pretty simple, pretty basic stuff, but you guys might want to know it. So first of all, you're going to need to choose an image that you're going to work with. I just chose this cool image of a skater that I found on um, Google Images, but you guys can use whatever you want. But I'd recommend using a picture with like an actual person in it. Just my opinion. Anyway, let's get started, enough talking. So I'm going to use the pen tool and just click pen tool, obviously. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we're just pretty much going to outline the person. And the pen, the way the pen tool works is pretty much just like connect the dots. So if I click a point here, I can click another point here and another point here, another point here, and you pretty much get the idea. But if you run along, or if you come across a curve that you need to get past, and you don't want to zoom in a lot and actually do every little line, the way to make a curve is you just click normally, but you don't let go. You actually hold and drag this line up until it's curved enough. You can see if you drag the line more, it's more curved. If you drag it less, it's less curved. And we just want kind of a subtle curve, something like that. And another thing to um, to know about the pen tool is the direction this line is facing. This line that I'm dragging around like that. And pretty much it needs to be facing um, close to the direction that you're going to be making your next line in. So this is pretty much the right way. So if I click it like this, something like that, you can see I can just make that line pretty easily. But just an example, if I was to make the line something like this, where it's facing down and not towards the next line, if I try to make that next line, you can see it does that weird loop like that. So that's not what we want. So again, the proper way to do this, we want to make sure the line is kind of facing the direction of the next line that we're going to make, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to do a quick outline around this person. And learning how to do curves with the pen tool is a whole different thing. I can't really teach it to you. You just have to practice and try to get better at it. Because I used to really suck with the pen tool. Not to say that I'm good at it, but... Yeah, I'm just going to do a crappy outline around the sky. Just so I don't bore you guys. And just so it's quick. Because it really doesn't matter for this tutorial how good the outline is. But as I'm going to say again, it's pretty much just connect the dots. And, yeah. Kind of being quicker with the pen tool just comes with practice. At first it might take you a while to get the hang of it, but just keep using it. So, almost done with this outline. Let's just do a crappy jaw right around his foot. Alright, so we're almost done. Just a quick outline, nothing great. And before you're about to connect it with your first point, what you want to do is you want to hover over the first point and make sure it makes a little circle next to the cursor like that. 
and that means you've connected the outline pretty much and you're done with it. So I'm just going to click that. You can see that all the points go away and we got this decent outline of this person. Now what we're going to do with this to delete the background, because that's pretty much the goal of this whole thing, we're going to right click here and we're going to click make selection. And this is just going to turn this outline into an actual selection. And let's just click OK. And now if we plus or if we press delete, oops, let me just rasterize this. If we press delete, you can see it deletes the figure rather than the background. And that's because we have the figure selected. So what we want to do is we want to go to select and inverse. And this we this way we have everything selected except for what we have in that pen tool outline, if you guys know what I mean. So pretty much we just have the background selected. So I'm just going to press delete. And now you can see we've successfully deleted the background around the sky and made a decent outline. Uh, nothing professional, but anyway, so that's the first part of the tutorial, how to outline something and then like make a selection and delete it. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make a glowing line around this figure. But you can take that technique and do lots of other stuff with it. And pretty much all it is is making a line with the pen tool and then filling it in with a brush. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So let's just make a um, path that goes around his arm. And this is going to be how the glow line is going to work or how it's going to look. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to go like this and make a little curve. And just you can just pretty much follow what I'm doing. Just looks like a curvy line. And this is the same thing I do when I'm creating the glow lines. For example, that I did in my rivalry speed art. If you guys know what that is, it's just pretty much like NBA playoff inspired speed art. Anyway, let's just do a quick job, nothing special. I'm just gonna go around his arm here, go over here. You guys hopefully get the hang of it. It's pretty easy to do. Just looks like a big squiggly line. And I'm gonna stop right there. And now what we're going to do is pretty much we're gonna right click and we're gonna do stroke path. And that means it's going to follow this path with a brush that we choose, or anything like this. But this time we're going to do a brush. But before we click OK, we have to actually make the brush that this is going to follow. So I'm going to click Cancel. For the brush, it's pretty easy. We're going to set the pixel size. For this image, I'm going to do about 4 pixels, but it depends on how large your image is. So I'm going to make the brush size 4 pixels to harness 0%. And I'm just going to choose white for the color. And now I can go back to the pen tool. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to do stroke path. Make sure the tool is on brush. I'm just going to click OK. And now you can see we're starting to get that glow line. Um, I kind of find this pen path distracting. So if you want to get rid of it, you can just do right click and delete path. And that way you just don't really see it anymore. So now you can see we're getting there, but we have two problems. One is it's not glowed, and two, it looks two-dimensional because it doesn't go behind his arm. It's only in front of his arm. So let's fix that real quick, and let's just make it so it looks more three-dimensional. So I'm going to get my eraser tool, and oops, I just made a big problem. I made this glow line on the same layer as my figure. That happens a lot, so let's just edit undo like that. Let's just make a new layer. And now let's go do stroke path again, click OK. Alright, that's better. Alright, so I'm just going to delete the path. And let's get our eraser tool. And let's just erase the parts that should be behind his arm. So I'm going to erase right here. So it kind of goes around his arm, goes behind, it's going to go in front, then it's going to go behind again, then it's going to come in front, go behind, go in front, um, go behind, and you guys pretty much get the idea. 
I'm just doing a crappy job erasing it, but just a tutorial doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go behind and erase this. Now this has to go behind his arm. And now this is going to go behind. So you guys pretty much get the idea. Now we have more of a three-dimensional line that actually has some depth because it goes behind his arm. So that's looking better, but it kind of just looks like a white line. It doesn't really look like it has that glow effect. So what we're going to do, we're going to right-click on that layer. We're going to go to Blending Options. And we're going to check off Outer Glow. And if we zoom in a little bit more, you can see... Oops. Whatever. It's giving that kind of nice glow effect. So if we go to Glow, we can edit a little bit. First of all, we can change the color. I'm going to make it kind of a bright blue, like that. Maybe a little bit of darker blue. That looks nice. Um, you can edit the opacity, pretty much how bright the glow is. I like it somewhere between 50 and 100%. Right now I'm going to put it at 100%. The spread, that just is asking you if you want to make it look shitty. So I'm just going to keep that at zero. And the size, you can see what that does. Kind of the size of the glow. And I'm going to make that around 10 pixels. But it's up to you. Um, the range, you can keep that how it is. And yeah, that looks pretty good for our glowing line. But that technique isn't just for um, making glowing lines. Because I'm sure you guys want to do some other stuff. You can use that technique to just pretty much make a path and fill it fill it with a brush. So it's a good thing to know how to do, but also if you're trying to create glowing lines, it's obviously good. And one last quick thing I want to show you guys about the pen tool is how to make a simple shape, for example a stripe, and fill it in. So let's just make a new layer and let's put this layer, oops, now let's make a new layer. I'm going to put it behind the figure. And I'm just going to get my pen tool and I'm going to zoom out and expand so I can pretty much see all that gray area. And to make this kind of curved stripe, I kind of use it in here, except it's not really curved. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to click a point outside of our image. I'm going to drag, click a point here outside of our image and drag it so it's curved like that. Then I'm just going to go back around and so I get something like that, kind of like a curved line. And if I just connect the outline, um, to give it some color so it looks kind of like a stripe, there's two ways you can do this. If you right click, you can either do make selection, which is what we did before, and then you can just fill it in with the color of your choice. So you can see that. But what I'm going to, but the other way to do it, is right click, oops, so I'll do that. If we do right click and we do fill path and we do color, we can just pretty much choose a color to fill it in with. So I'm just going to click OK and you can see, there we go. And I'm just going to delete the path. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much wraps up the tutorial how to do some cool things with the pen tool. So, uh, the pen tool is very useful in Photoshop so I hope you learned something and please like the video and comment if you have any questions or if you want to request another tutorial thanks for watching guys